This week is looking to be pretty freaking crazy for me because I seem to be uh I seem to be attracting emergency situations to myself. I seem to be really good at that. <laughs> you live in Florida. It is an emergency situation. Yes, true. Yeah, let me tell you about the situation this week. Because it's all, it's never boring, at least with me. <laughs> I've always got some kind of bullshit going on. Let me try it on Firefox. Zayn underscore and says Zeppler, I attract emergencies. Also, water is wet. No, no, <laughs> sure We have been saying this for years. I know. <laughs> I know, Zayn. I, I do. Uh, I tend to, for some reason, attract like one, many once in a lifetime situations. Those usually are what happen to me uh, on a regular basis. It's <laughs> the gods are smiting me all the time. Um, you could argue maybe it's a combination of bad luck and bad choices. And I would say, yeah, I, I think that's fair. <laughs> so let me tell you about our situation as of this morning. Um, I may need to evacuate this week because of a hurricane that is forecasted to hit my area. Uh, let me tell you what I know about it so far. We have... The biggest problem that we have right now is that the Gulf water is very hot. It's been hot all summer and the very hot water can cause intensification of hurricanes. Now, right now we only have, we have models, we have a tropical storm. It is a tropical, uh, a tropical storm as of this morning. Um, let me uh, show you the models and things that I have seen so that you get an update with the information that is available at present. Now this one, I think might've been from last night. I don't know if this has been updated for today yet. Yeah, these are the general models. As you can see, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this was from a little while ago before it actually became a tropical storm. This was just a low pressure system in Vest 97L. And this is what we call a spaghetti model right here where it's a bunch of different potential tracks. So all those different models started to agree uh, once the system of low pressure developed that it would de basically my area, which is the Florida panhandle right here, this is where I am at, uh, would get in some way. Uh, to what degree, we don't know yet, but we do have some information. Um, one thing that we know, hold on. <coughs> Hmm. Is, um, it's probably, it looks like it's moving a little faster. Whoa, what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yeah. just so. Uh, Calorie Coon, thank you so much for the 20 gift subs. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. That is amazing. Thank you so much. That is going to help me uh, pay for my emergency stay <laughs> that I'm planning right now uh, because obviously I can't I can't be losing power. So that is going to go into my preparedness plan. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so so much for that. So this is a post uh, from meteorologist, meteorologist Dan Nyman. And tip, in general, if you're going to listen to information about weather from people on the internet, make sure they are a meteorologist. That's why anything I say, I'm just going to be reading what a meteorologist said, because a lot of people like to cosplay weather people and uh, they don't know what they're talking about. So I'm just going to read what meteorologist Dan Nyman has said about this uh, this morning. As of 27 minutes ago, he said that the National Hurricane Center has started <clears throat> excuse me, advisories on potential tropical cyclone nine. 
This allows them to send out a cone and other forecast graphics before the storm develops. This could be a tropical depression or a tropical storm by this time tomorrow. There's not any surprises in this first cone. So basically we have some cones out here. That's me. That's, that is, I'm in the direct path of this thing, of the cone of uncertainty right now. Now the question is, is it going to be a direct hit or not? There are not any surprises in the first one. Uh, basically, overnight model runs have continued to trend ever so slightly eastward with landfall most likely in the Big Bend area of Florida. The initial forecast is to have is for it to become a strong cat two hurricane, but it is possible the forecast intensity will increase over the next few days. So we're looking at at least a cat two but it could go up to a cat, it could go up higher than that, um, which is extremely concerning. Um, yeah, tier two Delve could be <laughs> tier 13, however. Uh, here's another post about this. Basically, for me, a worst case scenario would be cat three plus in a direct hit. That would be probably the worst thing that could happen. Oh, yeah, here's a uh, this is a good this is a really good article from. Um, uh, can you see this? OK. So basically, everyone along the Florida panhandle needs to be prepared for this hurricane impacts um okay hold up they expect this to be a highly impactful storm this could be the storm that the 2024 hurricane season is remembered for great will a hurricane hit florida yes People along the panhandle need to complete preparations for hurricane impacts by Wednesday night before hazardous conditions arrive on Thursday. They say that it could even hit on Wednesday. Um, rapid intensification could mean Cat 3, but prepare for a Cat 4 storm. There is limited time to prepare for the storm. Prepare for a possible Cat 4 Cat four, do you realize? Actually, this is actually really helpful. Okay. What do the hurricane categories mean? Video shows damage caused by winds in a hurricane. Okay. Let's watch it. So this is cat one winds. Okay. And now we're approaching cat two. I see shingles flying off. Okay, we have Cat 3 winds where the roof is pretty much being demolished. And Cat 4 is basically, yeah, it's bad. We don't want this to happen, obviously. This could be, this could be really bad. That's scary as um, So they're looking at maybe Cat 3 or 2. Uh, devastating damage. Many trees will be snapped or uprooted, blocking numerous roads. Electricity and water could be unavailable for several days to weeks. So that would be a Cat 3 situation. It would be extremely horrible. So I'm obviously really worried about this. And um, I hope that I don't get a direct hit. I have already prepared a, an evacuation plan for myself for Wednesday. So I could leave as soon as Wednesday uh, and go to a hotel in a safer area so that I'll still be able to stream this week. But I just wanted to let y'all know uh, about the situation because um, it has the potential to be quite horrible. Yeah, this is different models from yesterday. Um, starting they're starting to veer more east but honestly these are models we don't know yet we're going to be watching this very closely this week and if you are also in this general area i would recommend that you go buy some bottles of water 
go get some gas in your car and have a plan uh, for getting the f out before the uh, traffic gets really bad because I think once they make an announcement for some kind of an evacuation, it's going to be very difficult to find a hotel. So you want to maybe book somewhere that has uh, free cancellation up to the last minute. Booking.com has a bunch of places like that. It might be something to plan ahead for. So you could cancel it if you don't need it, but you don't want to be fumbling at the last second um, for a, a room and, it's, and everybody's also trying to do the same thing. So I wanted to let y'all know about the situation that I'm looking at for the week ahead. Um, I have been through many hurricanes in my life. You know, I grew up in Louisiana. However, the thing about me is that I grew up in central Louisiana, right around here, you know, the forested central part, a safe distance away from the coast. So while I'd spent a lot of time in the southern part, um, The worst hurricane I went through in when I lived in southern Louisiana was Gustav in, in 08. But I lived in an apartment. So, yeah, shingles were flying off of the rooftops, but I didn't give a shit because I was in an apartment and I didn't own that apartment. <laughs> this is pretty different for me now. Uh, but I basically, look, here's what I can tell you. I am uh, going to leave Florida as soon as possible. I have been able to move up my timeline for getting the f out of Florida. And I think I'll be able to get the f out of Florida <laughs> by spring. Uh, I'm looking at possibly early spring. It's probably as soon as I'll be able to get out of here. Um, but <laughs> this is, well, I only need to survive this hurricane season uh yeah because i don't want to do this every year it just feels like playing russian roulette you know what i mean it's like okay every year you're gonna have a gun pointed at you and you're just gonna pray that when it clicks that you're gonna you're gonna dodge it somehow or you're gonna get lucky i can't deal with this every year it's so stressful <laughs> the attack is like, man, who could have said that? <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> Listen, something about me is, um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm very stubborn. And so not only do I make bad choices, but I also don't listen to people that are telling me good advice that would have prevented me from making bad choices. Uh, so I have a really nasty combination of being kind of dumb and stubborn. <laughs> this puts me into some bad situations sometimes. <laughs> we try, it's all we can do, I know. I, yeah, some people need to <laughs> look around and find out before learning. Well, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Um, we are finding, we're in the finding out stage. 